Well, it was a cool day today as you're getting out and about. We get only up to 73, so a little bit below average. But the roller coaster that we're expecting will be closer to some records, both highs and lows, as the next couple of days comes and goes. Did you get some viewer photos? This is from Adam. It's a pretty pleasant sunset. It's kind of get the sunlight trapped under those low clouds. But again, as that sunset has gone on, we've kind of gotten into the evening hours. Temperatures already dropping into the 60s, lower 60s, 60 degrees right now in downtown San Angelo. With those light southerly winds, we'll see those winds begin to pick up as we head into uh, your, your day tomorrow. Still some upper 50s and lower 60s for the area. 60 in Eden, 59 in Robert Lee, 60 in Sterling City as well. So we'll continue to drop at least a couple of degrees as we go in through the overnight hours. Winds pretty calm for much of the area right now, but we will expect those winds to pick up tomorrow out ahead of that cold front. So again, some gustier winds expected as well. Tonight, only getting into the upper 50s for your overnight lows. So cool, still hanging on to some of that cloud coverage as well and those light southerly winds. Tomorrow, a big warm up getting into the upper 80s. Some of us could even get into the lower 90s. We'll see those increasing clouds later in the evening evening as that cold front starts to approach. But again, for the most part, the majority of the day will be from southwesterly winds at about 5 to 10 with gusts up to 15 miles per hour or 25 miles per hour at times. Temperature trend, this is that roller coaster I'm talking about. We'll be getting up to close to record highs. The record high for Sunday is 91 degrees, so we'll be just a degree or two shy. And then that cold front comes through, and that'll be dropping us closer to some record lows by Tuesday. So we're going to get a little bit of everything in the week ahead. And as we see that cold front begin to approach, Sunday starts pretty warm, but by the evening hours, we'll see the cold front really starting to drop those temperatures, even getting into the 30s for the Panhandle, and then those 30s start to work its way here by Monday evening and overnight into uh, Tuesday as well. In the upper level pattern, we'll start to see that front begin to push that cold air, but then watch this area of cold air begin to get cut off from the jet stream. That allows that cold air to linger a little bit longer than what we've seen with these past few cold fronts. Where the cold front passes, we get like a day of cold air. This one's going to allow it to linger for several days as it slowly moves off and spreads its way out across the Lone Star State. That allows that colder air to kind of continue for the majority of the week ahead. The time everything out, Monday morning, we'll see that first cold front come through. It'll be colder temperatures and plenty of rainfall expected with it, but we won't be worried about the wintry mix until we get overnight Monday into Tuesday. That's when we get that second shot of cold air. That's going to be dropping those temperatures, especially up in our northwestern counties, up towards places like Robert Lee and Sterling City. Could be seeing some of that freezing rain and sleep mix and it, with addition to the rain. And as we go through your Tuesday, we'll still see, again, mostly our northwestern counties seeing that chance for some freezing rain and those very slick roads as any of that freezing uh, rain and ice kind of accumulates. Even the possibility for some very, very slight chance for some snowflakes well off towards the northeast, but northwest. But for the most part, the majority of us will be dealing with just some very cold rain. And then by Wednesday, that front vicious moves out and then things begin to clear out. It really starts to uh, sell things down. So with an active weather pattern expected for us here in the Concho Valley, we still have the tropics to deal with. This is Tropical Depression 28. This is expected to begin moving into the Gulf over the next couple of days, and then it'll begin to recurve back up towards Louisiana area. No impacts expect for us here in Texas, but again, a lot of active weather going on for the next several days and even the tropics as well. So for your full extended forecast, again, we're warm for Sunday. Then the cold front comes through late on Sunday. That's going to be dropping us our temperatures. Best chance for that icy mix will be late Monday, early Tuesday, as we get into those overnight lows and those temperatures really drop into those freezing temperatures. And that has the chance for our first freeze as well. Then things will slowly begin to warm up and dry out as you head into the rest of next week. And then things begin to warm up even further as you head into next weekend with the possibility of getting back up to the 70s for a pretty pleasant Halloween.